everyone. Welcome to your daily sadhana. Um, my name is Hannah. I use she, her pronouns in case we have not met before, or if you haven't taken um, a class through daily sadhana that I've recorded before. Um, but I'm happy to be here. For me, it's morning right now. It's about 8.30 in the morning. It's um, very gloomy, very cloudy. And I love just kind of like paying attention to the weather, using the weather almost as like a tool to check in with myself of like, it's gloomy outside. Am I feeling gloomy? Am I feeling tired? Or do I feel really like energetic despite the gloominess, you know? So um, if you're ever like having a hard time figuring out how you're feeling, it's always nice to maybe have a comparison, something to compare to of if the weather is really gloomy, am I feeling that way too? Or am I feeling a little different? Is it sunny? Am I feeling sunny? Am I feeling energetic? Am I feeling calm or more sleepy? It's um, a good way to kind of reference those different types of energies and tap into them as well. So gloomy outside. Um, I am feeling pretty good. I just took a yoga class myself and I'm going to move a bit. We'll do some kind of mobility and slower flowing this morning and I'll be talking at you the whole time. Um, we just got a puppy and I have a lot of things on my mind. Puppies, animals, they can teach you so, so much, right? So um, I'll be sharing a little bit about what I've learned in the process. Uh, so we'll start in child's pose. Go ahead and bring your big toes together to touch. Spread your knees out wide. You're welcome to grab blocks or books or some type of prop to um, use on your mat. And then go ahead and settle your chest down to the ground. Curl your hands forward up to the top of your mat. Notice the settle. Notice the quiet. Child's pose is often viewed as the arrival to your mat, the integration onto your mat, the separation, not necessarily separation, just integrating your practice into your daily life. In your child's pose, tune into your breath a little bit more. Start to become more aware of your inhales. And your exhales. Know that it's okay to make sound. Two more deep cleansing breaths at your own pace. Really feel the length, the space that your breath creates. From your child's pose, let's rock forward to a tabletop position. Crawl to your hands and knees. And then pivot your shins parallel to your uh, top of your mat. And start to flip your wrists around a little bit. Maybe move your spine through a few rounds of cat-cow or cow pose. You'll drop your belly low, gaze up. Cat around your spine, puff up the space in your upper back, push into your palms. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. <sighs> Make some noise. Don't be afraid to take up space in many ways. Take the movements that you need. Take the stillness that you need. Make the noises that you need. Maybe don't. Maybe really hear the silence, the quiet of your space. Sometimes it's hard to find that, especially um, if you're a parent or you have lots of pets in your house. Hard to find that, that quiet. So... Maybe you just soak it in for a few moments. A few more rounds in cat cow. And I'm just kind of moving, you know. Um, so rather than watching the screen, just know that we're in tabletop. Know that my spine is moving. We're warming up things, feeling into the body, getting grounded into the body. 
And let's come back to a neutral tabletop position. Stack your shoulders right on top of your wrists. Stack your hips over your knees. And take an inhale, lift your left arm high up towards the sky. Twist so much through your upper body that you feel a little firing up of your left side body, your oblique muscles. Take a big breath in, lengthen a little higher. And exhale, thread the needle. Thread your left arm underneath your right shoulder. Extend your right foot off to the side. So think warrior two in your legs. Your right foot extends off to the side. Your foot flattens down, toes face forward. Call your right hand out in front of you. And then lean more weight onto your left shoulder. Breathe. We'll be here for a few rounds of breath. Good. Bring your right knee back to meet your left. Stack your le right hand underneath your right shoulder. Press down through the right palm. Inhale, your left arm lifts high. Twist open. Exhale, back to neutral tabletop. Settle your left hand down. Just going to move this necklace out of my way so it's not crashing into the microphone. That would be a little disruptive for you all. Keep your right hand grounded, or your left hand grounded this time. Inhale, extend your right arm high. Once again, notice the firing up through your right side body as you twist open. That muscle activation, strengthening your oblique muscles. Take an inhale. Exhale, thread the needle. Thread your right hand underneath your left shoulder. And then stamp your left foot off to the side. Left foot flattens down. Face your left toes towards the front of your space. Lengthen your left arm forward. Breathe here. Oh, maybe you yawn. Maybe you let out a big sigh. Just, I want you to feel really free. Free to take what you need. Free from what you think you might need. Free from what you think other folks think you need. Check in if you notice that... Um, you think you shouldn't be sighing or you shouldn't be moving freely. Um, ask yourself, whose voice is that? Whose voice is that? Is that? is that my voice that really believes that people should not be able to make noise and take up space? Or was I taught that somehow, some way? And it's okay, we're all taught that in some way or another. But coming back into that freedom brings a lot of peace and knowing that freedom, that space, cannot be taken from us. Bring your left hand back underneath your left shoulder. Walk your left knee towards your right. Inhale, open out. Lift your right arm high. Gaze up to it. Exhale, tabletop position. Flip your toes. Take a breath in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent the whole time as you press back. Press into your palms so much so that you're holding onto your mat. You're gripping the mat. Finger pads dig down. Knuckles lift. Breathe here for a moment. And again, what's the voice inside your head saying? Is it encouraging you to move? Is it encouraging you to be still? And is that what your heart wants? Tune into what your heart needs this morning or whatever time it is for you. <laughs> and your downward facing dog look back at your toes take an inhale exhale crawl your hands towards your feet forward fold at the back of your mat walk your feet wide bend your knees a lot grab opposite elbows ragdoll pose The upper body is heavy, the knees are bent. You can sway from side to side. One thing that has really been bringing me a lot of peace lately is realizing how in control I am. I've spent a lot of my life trying to control a lot of things, avoiding things because I can't control them, 
being afraid of things because I can't control them. And recently, I don't know what happened. Maybe it was this puppy. Maybe it was my wonderful friends that inspire me every day. But um, let's go ahead and make our way up to standing. Little pause on the chat. Uh, start to unroll your spine. Stand all the way up. And bring your hands at your heart center. Samasthi Tihi, standing, equal standing pose. Yeah, so while we're here standing with Anjali Mudra, hands at heart center, something that's been bringing me a lot of peace lately is that I am in control. I am in control in every situation. Um, I am in control to accept the things that I can't. I'm in control of finding my peace, of finding my space. And I know when things get really hard and scary, that is so, so hard to tap into. So start right now on your mat. Find your peace. Know that you're in control. You can make the choices that you need to make to get stronger, to get more open, to get more settled, to get more energized. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, extend your arms over your head, Ardha Hastasana. Lift your gaze, press your hip points forward slightly to stretch through your hips. And then exhale, forward fold, bring your hands to your heart center. Slowly hinge down. Bend your knees in your forward fold. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Hastasana, rise up, sweep up, reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Pause here for a moment, soak up the space. Inhale, rise and reach. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and reach. Stand all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more time around. Inhale, rise and reach. Maybe this time you add in a little side body bend from side to side. Maybe you add in a back bend, cactus your arms. What do you need? Reach it high. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, crawl your hands forward, downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, send your right leg high. Inhale, three legged dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bend to your right knee, open your hip, scorpion dog. Take some movement through your knee, through your hip. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot in between your hands and drop your back knee down right away. Once your back knee is dropped, lift your chest away from your thighs. Lean a little bit of weight forward into your right leg. Stretch out your left quad or hip flexor. If you have props here, you're welcome to place them underneath your hands. Kind of lift up through your chest, lift your gaze. And some shapes can feel really empowering, right? Some shapes do help us feel more like we're taking up space in a safe way. So in this shape, lift your chest, lift your gaze without crunching through the back of your neck. Maybe even your arms got really, really, really wide. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, half splits back to retreat. We fold forward. We always have that opportunity to kind of Turn inward to fold inward to retreat, to recharge. We don't always have to take up space and we're not always taking up space. Sometimes we retreat, which in itself, I suppose, would be taking up space, but it's, it's encouraged to take that time. So in your half splits, really round forward, tuck your chin to your chest, feel held. And we'll open the heart back up. Inhale, come forward. Crescent moon or low crescent lunge. This time, extend your arms over your head. Lift up, lift up. Exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat. All right, funky transition here. So go ahead and pivot your left shin perpendicular to your mat. So my left shin is going to pivot. 
and then my right knee is gonna stay here. I'm placing my left hand down to the mat. Inhale, modified side plank. Lift your right arm high. So left knee is planted, right leg is extended, right leg is, or right arm is lifted. Bump your hips up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in. Exhale, reach your right arm over your head. Inhale, come back up. So stand up, lift your arms out to a T. Exhale, back to your lunge towards the top of your mat. All right, so come up to a T, inhale, exhale, bring your hands down to the ground, pivot back to your lunge. So your left knee is down, right foot is planted. From your lunge, plant your hands, inhale, three-legged dog, lengthen your right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog, settle, settle, settle. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Left side, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Draw some circles with your left knee joint. Work into your hip. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step it forward. Drop your back knee down. Once again, lift your chest away from your thighs. Crawl your left foot forward a little and then lean forward into the stretch. Notice the awakening through your right hip. And then bring your hands to your blocks or the top of your left thigh. And pause here. As you start to feel more comfortable, maybe your chin lifts away from your chest, gaze is up. Maybe your arms go out, get really big, take up the space. Take a big breath in. And exhale, round and fold, half splits. Fold over your left leg. Tuck your chin to your chest, round your spine. Breathe here. All right, my friends, come forward to low crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. And exhale, start to pivot onto your other side. So your right shin comes perpendicular with the long edge of your mat. Plant your right hand down. Lift your left arm high this time. Supported side plank. Reach your top arm towards the ceiling. Press your hip points high. Breathe here. Root down through your right hand. Take a breath in. Exhale, reach your left arm over your head. Get long through your left side. Inhale, rise up, tee out your arm. And exhale, come back to your lunge. Pivot your right shin back, left foot plants. Plant your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come forward to high plank, take a breath in, and exhale, lower down to your belly. Tuck your chin to your chest, flips of the tops of your feet are grounded. Take a breath in, and breath out. Keep your hands planted underneath your shoulders, flip your toes, balls of your feet tuck, then maybe your knees stay down, or maybe you lift all the way up, inhale, plank pose, press, press, press. Nice, exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do two more just to get the blood flowing, get a little strength before we start to stretch things out. Inhale, come forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower down all the way to your belly. You can keep your toes tucked, take a breath in. Exhale, press the ground away, lift up to tabletop or plank pose. Downward facing dog, press back. All right, I might have said two more times, now we're doing two more times. So we're doing a total of four, inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Take a breath in, exhale, push up, tabletop, high plank, 
downward facing dog. One more time, breathe in, lift, shift, shift forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, plank or tabletop. And you can always take your knees. Who told you that taking your knees meant you were any less strong? That's just not true. Whose voice is that? You can always come down to your knees. You can always skip that all together and say, I'm tired. I don't need to be doing that right now. I'm tired. I'm going to listen to my body. Take your space. Find your peace. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Take an inhale. And exhale. Look forward to the top of your mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, crawl your feet forward. Lower down to a seated position. And then come back onto your sits bones. Scooch forward. Today's flow is short and sweet. Because sometimes we just sprinkle in the time for yoga when we can. The time for asana, the time for movement, when we can. It doesn't always have to be a full 60 minutes, although it is really nice when we have that time. From your seat, slowly start to lengthen your spine forward. Use your blocks or not seated forward fold. Paschimottanasana. Breathe here. From your seated forward fold, lift your chest. Plant your hands behind you. Fingertips face your toes. Stamp your feet into the mat. Inhale, reverse tabletop. Lift up. Press the ground away. Gently tilt your, your head back. Inhale. Exhale, lower back down. Settle your hips. We'll do two more rounds of that if you'd like to take it. Inhale, reverse tabletop. Lift up. Exhale, lower back down. One more time, inhale, lift. Breathe, we hold for four, three, two, one. Lower back down to the ground. Recline onto your back. And once you're on your back, two rounds of bridge pose. Walk your heels towards your glutes, bring your hands down by your sides. Inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips. Press your hip points even higher, keep breathing. And exhale, lower back down. Last one, feel free to take wheel pose if you'd like it, inhale, lift. Breathe. Lift a little higher for three, two, one, exhale, lower back down. Hug both knees into your chest. Give yourself a gentle squeeze with your low back sealed on the mat. Rock from side to side. And then allow both knees to fall over to the left. Supine twist to the left. Stack your right hip over your left hip. Press your right shoulder down, maybe gaze past your right hand. Breathe here. Draw the knees back through center. Take an inhale. Exhale, without much effort, let your knees fall over to the right, supine twist to the right. Deep, steady breath. Eyes can close. Start to settle into stillness, softness. Bring your knees back through center. We'll end class in legs up the wall. 
I would invite you, and if you're in um, a place that has walls, to find a wall and literally put your feet up the wall. That will feel really nice. What I'm going to do is take a block, a pillow also works, a rolled up towel, a rolled up sweatshirt, anything with a little bit of lift underneath your low back. So with whatever it is that you're using, if you don't have a wall, lift your hips up slightly, slide it underneath your sacrum. And then make sure it feels like it's in a good spot to where you can just lift your feet up over your hips without any effort. You're not crunching in your core, you're not crunching in your quads. Whatever you place under your sacrum, your low back is there to support. It's kind of creating a shelf for you to hang out on. And then when you're there, let the upper body be heavy. Shoulders are plugged in. Keep the back of your head heavy on your mat, palms face up. Breathe here. There is so much happening all around us. So much good, so much suffering, so much love, so much kindness, so much darkness. All of these things exist all together, all at once. We have the choice. We have the choice of how we'd like to go out into the world. We can choose to bring the darkness with us, and sometimes it feels virtually impossible to not. You know, if we've had a lot of darkness in our lives. And then we retreat, right? We retreat. We take the rest, we take the time, we take the space to find the love, to find the kindness in our hearts, rather than going out and lashing out at anyone else shaming anyone else. Because with an open heart, that's how we move forward. That's how we move forward. To spread kindness, to spread love, it's not easy to do. So find it in yourself first. Choose your own peace. Choose to love yourself by showing up on your mat, by taking two minutes during the day to just sit with yourself. By making sure you're doing what makes you happy every single day. These little practices can turn into so much. A few more rounds of breath here. Let everything settle in, soak up. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a gentle squeeze. And then plant your feet down. Remove the block or whatever prop you have out from underneath you. And we'll rise up to seated. You can rock up or you can roll to one side then press up. Once you're seated, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Bring your palms to face up, over your knees, over your thighs. Take a few rounds of breath. Then bring your hands together at your heart center. Together we'll bow forward. And I offer you the words, Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu. 
May all beings be free and may everything I do help to release the suffering of all people. Thank you so much for coming, for tuning in. Um, if you have any thoughts, if anything came up today, please let me know. Um, I try and read the comments on the videos that I record. Um, so yeah, we'd love to hear from you. And I hope you have a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is for you. Thank you so much for being here today. And go out, spread kindness, spread love. Peace.